Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we post daily videos on cutting edge technologies. Do you know that developers spend around 30 to 40% of their time just writing code? Imagine what could be achieved if there were a tool to reduce this time, allowing them to enhance their creativity and put extra effort into creating something new. Well, that's exactly what AutoCode generation tools do. They aim to revolutionize the coding process by automatically generating code snippets based on user input. One of the best examples of such tool is Kodi. It is a free and open source coding assistant that writes, fixes, and maintains your code. It understands your entire code base by leveraging the power of code graph to gather context, which assists you in writing accurate code. Kodi connects seamlessly with code hosts like GitHub and GitLab and IDEs like VS Code and JetBrains. It provides a variety of features like autocomplete, chat, commands, debug code, and explain code. So let's see how you can actually use Kodi. So in this video, I'm going to be integrating Kodi with my IDE, which is the VS Code. You can also integrate it with JetBrains and GitHub. So the first step in order to use Kodi is to install it, its extension. For that, you have to go to the extensions and in the search bar, you have to type Kodi AI. You will get a lot of options and out of these options, you will have to select this one having this logo. Simply click on the install button right here and you will see that after a while, your extension will be successfully installed. And once your extension is installed, you will see the Kodi logo right here and also a new option on the navigation window showing the symbol for the Kodi. So if you click on this logo right here, you will have different commands which are provided by the Kodi. You can create a new chat and we are going to go ahead and see all of these options one by one. So firstly, I'm going to create a new file called app.py inside which I'm going to show you the first feature of Kodi, which is the code completion. So let's say that I want to write the code for the bubble sort. For that, I'm going to say dev bubble sort inside which I'm going to pass the array. But you can see that before even writing, it provided me the parameter itself. This is the code completion feature of the Kodi. So right now the, the text is in the ghost text mode, which means that it is in the gray color. But if you want to accept it, you can either click on this accept button right here or hit the tab button and your ghost text will now appear on the screen. Then if I hit enter, you will see that in a matter of few seconds, the entire code for the bubble sort in Python language will be available to you in the form of ghost text. And if you are happy with the code, you can always go ahead and click on tab and all of this code will appear right on your workspace. Now let's see another example. If I want to create a streamlit app that interacts with the CSV file using the Gemini Pro. So for that, firstly, I'm going to import the required library. So these are all the libraries that we will be using. So now once I hit enter, you will see that it will start providing me suggestions based on the provided code. So here it is providing me a right option that says this app is a demo of using Gemini Pro to chat with a CSV file. So if you want to add it, hit tab and then hit enter. Then it is providing me the option to load the CSV file and I don't have to write any of the code. I simply have to go with the suggestions which the Kodi is providing to me. So if you are happy with all of this code which the Kodi has provided to it, then you can simply hit the tab and it will provide you the code. So in this way, you can create entire application in a matter of few minutes using Kodi. Let's try it with another language. I'm going to add a new file. I'm going to call it search.c because it will contain the code for the C language. I want to perform searching in an array. So for that, I'm going to provide it the initial code. Firstly, I am importing the required libraries. Then here is my function definition, which is incomplete. Now, if I hit enter, you will see that Kodi will automatically understand the code and will provide us the next suggestion. So if you think that the suggestion is correct, hit tab and select this. Then again, hit enter to see how it suggests you further. Okay, so if the suggestions end, simply go ahead and close the function. And now you will see that once you hit enter, it will provide you the suggestion to create the main function. And inside the main function, it has provided you the complete implementation that firstly, it is creating an integer array. Then it is creating a new variable x, which is to be searched having a value 9. Then it is calling the search function, which we have previously created using the Kodi and is also printing the result. 
So in this way, you can see that just by providing the function definition and the first line of the code, Cody has provided us the complete code for it using its autocomplete feature. In this way, you can use the autocomplete feature of Cody for any programming language in order to perform automatic code completion. Now, if I click on this icon, you can see that the next feature provided by the Cody is to document the code. So for that, I'm going to once again go to app.py file and I'm going to paste entire code right here. I'm not going to explain what this code does. Simply, I will show you how it can generate code documentation for it. So simply click on the document code option right here. And you can see that it will provide you brief documentation that says it loads a QA model and prompt to answer questions based on the context from a CSV file. And then it is provided as a brief explanation of what the code does. So if you are happy with it, you can simply accept it from right here. If you want to add it in retry, click on this option and it will generate the documentation for you in a new way. Right? You can see that now it has generated a new documentation for it. So using Kodi, you can also provide a brief documentation for your code. So I'm going to use the same example to explain the third feature provided by the Kodi, which is the code explanation. So if you want to know what is happening inside this code, simply select all of the code right here and click on explain code. You will see that a new window will appear on the right side and it will start explaining the code for you. So you will see that says it implements a simple chatbot that can answer questions about data using the Google's Gemini Pro AI model. Then it is providing information about different chunks of the code one by one. And in the end, it is providing us a summary of what the entire code is actually doing. So in this way, you can get explanation for code in any of the programming language you want using the Kodi. Now let's move towards the next feature provided by Kodi, which is unit testing. So if you want to perform unit testing and you want to generate unit tests automatically, then you can simply use the Kodi to do it. Firstly, you have to write the code for which you want to generate the test cases. Then simply click on the generate unit test from here. You will see that here it says Kodi is working and a new file called testsearch.c will be created that will contain all the unit tests for this particular code. So you can see that it has created almost 10 unit tests in order to test the search function. And all of this was done in a matter of just few seconds. And this can be done not just for the C language, but for any language. You simply have to provide your code and then click on generate unit test and all the unit tests will be generated in a matter of few seconds. Let's move towards another feature provided by Kodi, which is the chatting feature. You simply have to click on new chat right here and it will provide you a chat box and you can simply interact with Kodi like you can interact with ChatGPT. So if I say here, provide me code in Python for calculating the factorial of a number provided by the user. Run it and you will see that it will start processing your prompt and in a matter of few seconds, you will see that it will provide you the code that takes a number as input from the user and calculates and displays its factorial. And if you want to change the response provided by it, you can also do that. So let's say if I want to change this code to have all of this inside a function, so I can say create a function for it. Now let's run it. It will process it for some time and then it will quickly convert all of this code inside a function that will take a number as input and calculate and display its factorial. Then you can see that it is also providing a brief explanation of what the code is actually doing so you can have a better understanding of the provided code. Now, let's show you another feature. I have this code in order to search an element in an array. But if you want to improve this code in any way, you can simply select this and click on the find code smells and it will provide you different improvements for this provided code. So you can see here in the right hand side, it is provided as five potential improvements for the selected code, which says that you can add the error check-in for the IO operations like printf. You can use the better variable names. You can add the comments to explain the overall logic. And instead of this algorithm, you can use a binary search algorithm instead of linear search for faster lookup. And it says that validate the array bound before accessing the elements to avoid potential buffer overflows. Now, if I wanted to edit my code, which is present in the search.c file, you can also do that using the chat. So I, I'm going to prompt it to edit the code in the search.c and convert it into a binary search. Let's see if it is able to do that or not. 
All right, so it has provided me the code for the binary search, but it has not edited the file. But you can always go ahead and copy all of this code from here and paste it into your file. Now your code will perform much better in terms of its performance. And here it has also provided us the key changes that it has implemented the recursive binary search instead of the linear search. It has passed in the left and right indices and so on. So if you have not already used Kodi, I'll highly encourage you to use it in order to improve your efficiency and performance as well as the overall performance of your code. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.